What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we have some pretty cool news to talk about. We have the 8.5 anniversary uh, very very close to arriving here on One Piece Treasure Cruise Global and interestingly enough they have announced that the character that is going to be coming out for this event period is going to be this Kinemon, Denjiro, Ashura Doji, and Dogstorm character. I gotta say that the uh, the actual attack animation looks incredible on this character. Um, but this Sugo Fest is going to be the headliner for the 8.5 anniversary, of course. Now, interestingly enough, it actually did mention that this is going to be a part one. 8.5 anniversary celebration so there is going to be room left for a part two and i mean that could go in a lot of different directions but due to the fact that this is the part one it's a very safe assumption that part two is also going to be very similar in vain in terms of what this is going to be now there are a couple of options and we'll talk about it towards the end um, but we can see that this sugo fest is going to be going live on october 29th and is going to be going until december 9th so it's here for a very long time all throughout november is is going to be here it, it is not a super sugo fest as well so keep that in mind but let's actually go through what this character does because the twitter has been able to provide that for us which is fantastic um let's go ahead and go through the in-game information because it's the easiest way to uh to break this all down so first of all Having a look at the character, it is a strength, it's hard to see it on the icon, but it is a strength slash a free spirit, it's a super class slash a character, and it has final tap. Uh, it has enrage and critical hit, which I think is pretty okay, I don't really have a problem with that. Uh, one thing that, that stood out straight away is the cooldown is very high at 14 turns, but there are ways to get around that as we'll go through it in this, uh, in this little video here. So let's go through the captain ability first, so of course it's going to reduce slasher character's cooldown by 2 turns at the start of the quest which is crazy good boosting their health by 1.25 and their attack by 5.25 with a matching slot five times otherwise so that's very very good and then he also makes recovery in tandem slots matching reduces the crew's attack down by 10 turns is nuts uh, i think the only other character as a captain that removed it was the general frankie character so it's awesome that we're getting another attack down reducing captain it's so so good and then it also says that if you tap on this character with a Wano slot, he applies a minus 10% slasher resistance down to all enemies for one turn. I think this is actually kind of weird though, because this character is a final tap character, so you probably want to attack first with this character to apply the slasher resistance down. Unless if you're running double Kinemon, Denjiro, Ashura, Dogstorm, then in that case, then yeah, that makes a lot of sense, because you can attack one with one of them, and then finish with the final tap with the other. But uh, that, I just found that to be a little bit weird, but I guess in turns where you're not activating final tap, this is still really good, right? Just get 10% bonus damage for free, and nothing really too bad about that at all. Now, the special ability is very long, but it's actually not very complex. So it reduces all enemies' damage nullification by 5 turns, which is the highest damage nullification removal that's in the game. It's incredible. Changes all character slots, including block, into matching, and then boosts Strength Slasher and Free Spirit characters' attack by 3 times for 2 turns. That is incredible. A 3 times attack boost for 2 turns to the Strength Slasher Free Spirit. It's just incredible. And then, like, Slasher Free Spirit have a great synergy, just in general, but there's already like so many good other strength units you can use and you gotta remember this is taking a lot of these scabbards out of the picture but you know you can already just imagine if you use this as a friend captain you can still use your own kinemon denjiro you could use odin you've got toki um you've got even legend hiori right legend hiori is, a, is also a slasher so there's like really cool synergy here so you get the attack boost for two turns you get the damage nullification and the full border slots then it says if the, if you've actually used this character special or you've used Odin special. Now, this specific Odin that they're talking about is the Strength Odin, the Legend Strength Odin. If you've used his special or this character special already in this turn, then it also will deal 1 million fixed damage that goes through all defensive effects and normal attacks only. So it's guaranteed 1 million fixed damage, and it will further increase your crew's attack and all boost by 0.25 and extend the duration of your attack and all boost by one turn so the way that you're supposed to do this is that if you have v1 odin he's a two turn all booster to strength slash a free spirit and this guy is a two turn attack booster to strength slash a free spirit so by using odin special and then this character special it will make you get the 3.25 times attack and then i think odin's all boost is 2.75 so i think that'll buff it to a three times all boost and both this guy and Odin's 
attacking orb boost after two turns, making it a three turn attacking orb boost. That's crazy. Of course, if the enemy removes beneficial effects when you enter the final stage, that really does hurt you. But I think overall, this is a very incredible special and captain ability combination. Now, what we have to look at here is his super class. His super class requires one of these specific characters in order to activate it. So there's no condition that you can fulfill. You have to use the characters. But considering the way the character is built, it makes sense. But the actual effect is really good. It does 100 times attack, non-type damage to all enemies. And then the top and row slots are Wano, and the middle row slot is Tandem. And then you get Super Slasher. This is still very good, though, because he is a cooldown reduction captain. Minus two cooldown, by the way. And then he also does a wave clearing super class special. So this guy is already opening up some really cool things that you can do with him in terms of speed farming. So I'm a pretty big fan of that. If you do opt to use him as a crewmate, though, this crewmate ability reduces his cooldown by two turns every time another Slasher uses a special. Again, just very, very good effects. Considering his cooldown is so high naturally, this is with Limit Break Expansion, by the way. The minus two cooldown every time another Slasher uses a special is very, very well worth it. And then also just giving some additional boost to your uh, Slashers as well. And then the support effect attaching to the same characters that are required for his super type, or super class, should we say. But it says that if you are inflicted with attack down, you reduce your cooldown by one and reduce attack down by two. This is just such a good support effect, and there weren't really many attack down, like, removing supports just in the first place, so just adding this to, to your account is fantastic. But then we need to talk about probably the most uh, important component of the character, is the character's final tap. Now, this is probably the second best final tap in the game, right behind Luffy Crew, and the reason for that is, it is because it's basically a Luffy Crew final tap, which is just crazy to think about. Uh, the condition is very simple, you just have to reach the final battle, so that is great. You don't have to use this special in the final stage, which would be perfect. But the effect changes his own slot into Wano, which is fine. But then adds 1.0 times the damage dealt by normal attacks of other slasher characters on top of this character for the final damage. So... Yeah, this is exactly the same as Luffy Crew, which is just absurd to think about. So, looking at the Luffy Crew final tap, they add 1.2 times the total damage dealt from normal attacks on top of this character's normal attack. So, yeah, it, it is a nerfed version of the Luffy Crew final tap, where Luffy Crew is 1.2, and it can include any character, but this is 1.0, so a little bit less, but it only includes slashes. So... Overall, though, this is still really good because, remember, this goes through normal attacks only. This allows you to get around enemy resilience. So, just all of those things combined is just so good to see. Even at level 1, you got 0.25, which obviously isn't very strong. Level 4 goes to 0.75. So, yeah, the multipliers aren't very good until you reach, like, around level 5. Level 5 is, like, definitely where you want to be, of course. But the fact that this character is not a Super Sugar Fest exclusive means that we hope that this character is going to be relatively accessible and more pullable in future banners, which we really, really hope that is the case. Now, the other thing that we need to have a brief look at is this character's um, rumble stats, because this character in rumble, I think, definitely has potential. We'll have to wait and see how people uh, opt to use this character, but the rumble ability will give slashes six health and six attack, which is pretty okay, but the thing is, with strength characters or slasher characters in general, is they're not very bulky. So I would have preferred if it was 6 attack and 6 defense, or even 6 HP and 6 defense. I think that would have been well worth it, because in terms of attack, slashers have a lot of attack already. They really need more defensive capabilities. So this effect, probably not amazing, but then 32 CT, which is pretty high, but the effect targets 2 enemies with high HP for defense down level 5, which I think is actually pretty cool, and then it will also give one enemy 2.5 times attack up to 4 times, so that's a lot of damage that you can do pretty efficiently there. Now, that does only target one character, so there are going to be a lot of cases where this really doesn't do a lot of damage, but you got to really think, though, that if you're running this on a slasher team, you have pretty high attack, this should be doing decent damage, and of course, you have defense down with the first part of his special as well. It does go on to say, though, that if you have Kozuki Odin on your team, he gives your slasher teammates 5 attack and 5 defense, which I think is also pretty incredible. The thing is, is that you're probably going to be using this guy with a strength slasher combo, maybe like this, V1 Odin, Roger White Beard, and then you could use combinations of like V1 Kizaru, especially with his level limit break and limit break expansion. You can get Kizaru to be pretty, pretty potent. And you also got V1 Doflamingo for more bulk. Uh, then you got pretty good Pirate Rumble Rare Recruits too that are also strength and slasher, like Trafalgar Law. Uh, I think Kaku is also a slasher. You've got Arlong, I think he's also a slasher. Um, Cracker. So there's a pretty good array of strength slashers you can use with this guy. Uh, I definitely want to try and pull for him and try and use him in. Uh, 
in Pyron Ball. I think he actually has a lot of potential, but the 32 CT is definitely high. But I think if you use him with V1 Odin, obviously he has increased CT for your, for your strength and slasher characters and stuff, which uh, I think is probably going to be the way to go. But that is pretty much it right now for the breakdown of the Kinemon, Denjiro, Ashura Doji, and Dogstorm character, of course. When we get the data download, we'll get a little bit more information in regards to the rare recruits, which I'm also kind of excited to see what they're about. The entire batch is Strength and Slasher, it appears to be. So it's going to be interesting to see not only how this goes, but how a potential part two would go. Because especially when you look at the Superclass special, where it does change the middle row into tandem, yet none of the characters that we know of so, so far are super tandem. So it'll definitely leave uh, a little bit of uh, a, a little bit of space for a potential super tandem character that could come in in part two of the celebration but who knows what that would even be anyways but that's going to wrap it up for me let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section in regards to this brand new sugo fest exclusive definitely one of the most powerful sugo fest exclusives that we've received in a very long time this character is definitely on the level of a super sugo fest exclusive in my opinion so i'm really excited to potentially get my hands on him and test him out in some content but that's going to wrap it up for me thank you so much for watching if you guys enjoyed it make sure you go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video